This Hunter HMP20H is feeding molds onto a Hunter HLH20 type SL1 plus 3 linear mold handling system. A movable pendant with a touch screen is the primary operator interface. This touch screen controls all automatic functions and manual motions are also available as well as timers, counters and proportional valve speeds. Hunter also manufactures automatic core setters for all models. The core setter mask is made from the cope side of the match plate using an inexpensive castable plastic. Cores are held in the mask by vacuum, created by a vacuum generator using compressed air through a venturi. Both sides of the molding machine are guarded by a light guard, allowing a second person to set cores when required. There is a secondary operator's pendant on the back side of the machine. Hunter HMP series molding machines are gravity filled and allow the use of chills, chaplets, ram up cores and facing sand. Molds leave the Hunter molding machine on aluminum bottom boards. The accumulating conveyor provides mold storage and transports the molds to the mold handling system on demand. This arrangement allows molding and pouring to operate at different speeds during pattern changes or metal delays. The length of the conveyor and corresponding number of positions can be varied to fit customer requirements. All Hunter mold handling systems utilize PLC controls. The mold handling operator interface is located on the control cabinet. This is where the operator gains access to the PLC, controls all automatic motions and manual motions, and sets timers and counters. Hunter linear mold handling systems have a dedicated hydraulic system. At the end of the accumulating conveyor, the mold is lowered to a position 18 inches above the floor and then is pushed off the aluminum bottom board onto the graphite-covered pouring car. As the pusher retracts, the bottom board is moved to the bottom board elevator, raised to the elevator board return, conveyed to the machine where it is then lowered and placed in the bottom board storage rack. After the mold has been positioned on the pouring car, the pouring line indexes one position. After the system has indexed one position, the weight and jacket are set. The weight is set first, then the jacket, assuring the accurate mold alignment is maintained.
Prior to placing a set of weights and jackets on a mold, they are cleaned at the weight and jacket cleaning device. Pouring molds are standard with this system. One, molds are poured at rest as they index through the designated pouring position. The index may be initiated by the pourer or by a timer set by the pourer. Two, begin pouring at the far end of the pouring line, moving the ladle towards the transfer station as each mold is poured. Upon completion of pouring in this mode, an indicator is raised on the last mold car poured. The system is switched to reload. The pouring line then reloads with unpoured molds from the accumulating conveyor until the mold with the indicator raised reaches a proximity switch at the far end of the system and waits for the pourer to return. As the molds reach the far end of the pouring line, they are transferred to the return line and indexed one position. to the elevator, the weight and jacket are removed. The mold is then pushed onto the elevator, raised, and moved onto the cooling tray. The mold pouring car then continues to the end of the return line and is transferred to the pouring line. This system has been designed to accommodate first article inspection and can track each ladle of metal poured. If a ladle of metal is found to be out of spec, the system can segregate these molds. The operator can select one, two, or three molds per cooling tray, depending on the cooling time requirements. At the end of the cooling line, there is a combination lowering and transfer device. This unit lowers the cooling tray from the top level to the bottom level and pushes the line of trays forward one position in the opposite direction. The molds continue to cool on the bottom level as they move toward the transfer device on the other end of the system. This unit lifts the cooling tray from the bottom level and then pushes the line of trays forward one position. The cooled molds are dumped onto a vibrating pan or shakeout conveyor provided by others. Molds are discharged one at a time or at the same rate they are loaded onto the cooling system. <laughs> 